Hey there, and welcome back. If I'm honest, I don't watch a lot of automotive videos on YouTube, but one of my favorites has always been Jay Leno's Garage, and he does a series of videos called The Restoration Blog. And so today I thought maybe I should do a video similar to that every once in a while and show you some of the projects that I don't otherwise show. Think of this as a behind the scenes look at what I am up to and what you might see on video in the future. Now I have been doing videos like this, but they've been all on my live stream. So let's bring them from my lives and put them in actual videos. I think what I'm going to do is just walk around and when I see a car where some progress might be happening or I have something in store, let's just talk about it. So here with the pink Sprite, I do have a new rebuilt engine. This is actually the engine out of bug eye number five or six because I'm building a new engine for that car instead. Behind the pink Sprite is the Mike Dale race car. Very, very historically important car. I need to get back to this car and I'd like to get this running and back on track. Bug Eye number three is sitting in front of that. Bug Eye number three is for sale. So if you would like to buy this car, a little bit of work has been done since the last video. Uh, I think most of the lights now work. Brake lights work, headlights work parking lights work so if you would like to buy this car send me an email this week with cars at gmail.com and we have a uh, number 18 bug eye race car i have a new engine and transmission that i'm going to be swapping in here and then i'm going to be probably swapping this engine and transmission into another vintage race car which i have not shown yet but is sitting way over in the corner way way back there Recently on the channel, I've been featuring the Elva race car. Well, what I haven't shown is that there is actually some push rod problems with it. So I ordered a full set of push rods and an entire head gasket set. So I'll have to pull the head out, inspect everything. I might go through the head while it's off and install the new push rods. On the old Lloyd, I did have the battery tip over at some point. It corroded a bunch of stuff in here, and so it ruined the starter. I'm still going to try to take it off and see if it can be rebuilt, but I'm probably going to have to look for a new starter. And of course, need to tie the battery down better than that. So if you have a starter for one of these Lloyds, let me know. I'm really excited about the new Barclays. This one is so complete, I'll probably keep it in the original condition. And then this one is a three cylinder. And I think it would be fun because I don't have the windshield frame and windshield for it to make that kind of a looking like a old vintage race car or something like that. Here is one of those three cylinder engines for that Barkley. There's a few others in the boxes and up in my old Barkley box up there, I also have another three cylinder sitting up there. So I have a lot of parts that I can put on and get that car up and running. Soon I would like to get back to the Morris Beach car. I've just had so many mini projects lately. Uh, same with the Morris pickup truck. Look for videos very soon on this one. I do have some upgrades that I think I want to do to the camper on the military truck. So we might have some new content there coming soon. And here's one of my favorite cars in my collection, my AC Asica. I haven't shown this car in videos much, but I am doing some work on it currently. So. Maybe we'll see a video pop up soon on this. And I just ordered a bunch of parts for both of my Discovery Ones. So we should be having some Discovery One content very shortly. And I don't know if I've shown my old international pickup truck on video before, but I was going to drive this to Kevin and Mook from Junkyard Digs Wedding and the lights were not working. So I need to look a little bit into this vehicle now. Now let's take a look at part of the shop that I usually only show on lives. I still have my M35 Overland vehicle that I built. You can see the race rigs are getting unloaded. Over here is a vintage off-road wrecker. I just did a video on this yesterday. I'm finally getting the new winch installed so that I can raise and lower the boom without having to use the main winch. Over here is my paint system. And here's the Bronco that you have seen videos before i'm going to be doing a full restoration of this truck it's probably been a year or two since you've seen a video on that 
This is a bug eye race car. So look for this in future videos. And then this is a right hand drive Sunbeam Tiger. I'm doing a full restoration on. It had been in a front end collision and actually the whole front end from about here forward was completely gone when this car came here. I don't have anything in the paint booth right now. I did just fix some rust on my daily driver. I was getting a little bit of rust showing through on the back door, so had that in here, just got that done. And if we move on into the fabrication room, you can see a Lotus Europa. Sanding is almost done on the body, and it'll be ready for primer. And then of course, a lot more sanding after that. I do have my Porsche 944 in here. I'm going to do a little bit of rust repair. The rockers on this side were a little rusty. So it's cut out here, little patch panel here that's going to get welded in and then uh, put that back. And then there is a rock guard on it, which goes up to about right here. I'll just rock guard straight across on that again. And then I've got an Austin Healey 106. This is of course aluminum here. The whole center section of these cars is aluminum. The fenders, they are steel. So the fenders are almost done. This sanded, you can see all the different colors this car has been. It's been red, it's been black. There's a little bit of turquoise, it's been orange. Um, probably white as well. Original color of this car was actually black. And you can see down here that the car was probably in a pretty bad front end collision at some point in its life. And over here, this is actually the new body for that green Bronco. So let's cut this open and see what's in it. So we have a few of the panels sitting up here on top. That feels like it's a fender right there. You can see this is a Bronco body, 1966 to 77. This is each individual panel, and they're all going to have to be welded together. So this includes the outer fenders, but it does not include front fenders, grill, or hood. Then in the next room, these are some mini parts for a mini engine and transmission. I'm rebuilding Datsun 240Z. I'm fixing the brakes right now on the Volkswagen camper van. And this 2002, this was a full restoration. This thing was just a rusted, wrecked piece of junk out of the jungle. In fact, this one also had a front end collision and the front was all smashed in. So maybe we'll do some driving videos or some other videos on this soon. We have the Innocenti from the Innocenti series that I've been working on. I actually have the seats and the door cards uh, being renewed at a local upholstery shop right now. And then this is a 1955 Oldsmobile Super 88. These are pretty nice cars, especially if you want something like a 55 Chevy, but a little bit nicer, a little more rare. Here's some more parts to that mini engine that I'm working on. Got some more engines over here. That's the engine out of the 106. That's the transmission out of the Bronco. That's the original engine that was in the pink Sprite. I'm doing another A-series engine over here got an MGB engine that I did a couple years ago sitting here. I should probably pull a car down and put that in it. So I think that's going to be it for today. This is episode one of my restoration blogs. If you like this type of video, let me know in the comments below and I will keep making videos like this. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.